is located in the DC Armory. Combat support and combat service support functions, such as logistical and administrative support, are provided to units within the Army Guard. Often referred to as the pride of Troop Command is the 257th Army Band. The 257th has often been called on to play at the White House, internationally, and in support of community functions. The 115th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, or MASH, is located in the DC Armory. The MASH is a self-sufficient combat surgical and medical treatment hospital. Our doctors, nurses, and medics are trained to provide services on the move and in the most volatile environments. An aggressive recruiting and retention program has resulted in a well-staffed MASH, manned by some of the best medical doctors, registered nurses, licensed practical nurses, and biomedical technicians from local communities. Maintaining unit readiness is accomplished through practical field training exercises. Training evaluators often comment that the 115th is the most proficient and best trained unit they have ever evaluated. Comments such as these are given credence when the unit is put in real life situations. When activated to support Operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield, the 115th put all its professional experiences and training to the test. While there, the 115th was tabbed as being far more advanced than its active duty counterparts, and the unit maintained a successful hospital operation. The proficiency and reputation of the 115th also paved the way for its selection to receive state-of-the-art hospital equipment before other National Guard units. The 260th Military Police Command is the largest of the DC Army Guard MSCs. The command is tasked with providing personnel assets to meet selected requirements for supporting civil defense and civil authority planning needs. The 260th also provides support to active Army units and other Guard units when called upon. The long list of command accomplishments includes the deployment of several subordinate units to the Virgin Islands in support of emergency efforts following Hurricane Hugo. In addition, over 400 military police and support personnel deployed for Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, where the units performed missions such as patrolling, guard duty, and prisoner of war operations. The unit is also called on to provide support to the district's police department when large-scale events are held in the city. These events include those such as the presidential inaugural. 260th units frequently train with active Army military police commands around the world. This contributes to the unit's readiness to move out and perform anywhere at any time. The District of Columbia Air National Guard is headquartered at Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. Major subordinate commands under the DC Air Guard are the 201st Airlift Squadron, the 113th Tactical Fighter Wing, and the 231st Combat Communications Squadron. The 201st Airlift Squadron provides support to the National Guard Bureau, military airlift command missions, and transportation support for congressional and White House staffers. Maintenance and administrative staff and crews work diligently to ensure that aircraft are kept in peak condition. Rigorous and detailed inspections are conducted to keep this sophisticated fleet ready to fly. Pre-flight and in-flight service is comparable to that provided on commercial flights. Nothing less than a taut ship is acceptable at the 201st. Passengers realize this as they embark on first-class travel in first-class style. The 113th Tactical Fighter Wing is the primary unit of the District of Columbia Air National Guard. The wing provides command and control for nine squadrons, flights, and units under its charge. The 113th's mission on mobilization is to employ F-16A aircraft, 
also known as the Fighting Falcons, using conventional air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. In 1991, the 113th Tactical Fighter Wing received the Air Force Outstanding Unit Award, a mark of being one of the best fighter wings in the National Guard. A considerable number of our pilots also fly commercial aircraft, contributing to the maintenance of top quality personnel and operations in the DC Air Guard. The 231st Combat Communication Squadron provides the latest in combat communication support capable of providing accurate battlefield data and the best mobile communications and navigational aids to combat units of all military services, the 231st operations are vital to mission accomplishments. This proved true when the unit provided personnel and equipment in support of operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Training has top priority in the D.C. National Guard's mission. In addition to each unit's training programs and field training exercises throughout the year, in-residence training is also offered to Guard members. The District of Columbia Military Academy, located at Fort Meade, Maryland, is the Guard's structured residential training activity tasked with developing future leaders in the D.C. Army National Guard. The D.C. Military Academy produces over 90% of the Army Guard junior officers through the Officer Candidacy School. Also offered at the Academy are non-commissioned officer or NCO development courses, junior officer leadership programs, and specialty courses such as land navigation. McGee Tyson Air National Guard Base in Knoxville, Tennessee is the residential training facility attended by DC Air National Guard members. This institution provides a rigorous, challenging, and rewarding training environment. District of Columbia Air National Guard members have attended the career enhancing programs at McGee Tyson Air National Guard Base for over 20 years. Programs such as the NCO Academy, NCO Leadership School, and the Academy of Military Science or Officer Commissioning School yield and cultivate top-notch Air Guard members. Graduates of both the Academy and McGee Tyson return to their units ready to train, ready to lead. The leadership of the D.C. National Guard has responded to active duty throughout its history. We have participated in every major war and conflict in the 20th century. More than 20% of our Guard members served in operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Several D.C. Guard units provided transportation, 